In this video, I'm going to show you how to talk to your PDF files, literally talk to it, meaning use voice and ask questions of your PDF file uh, and then get answer back in text or in voice. I'm going to show you how to do this both from text to audio, meaning we'll uh, provide a text prompt uh, and get an answer in audio. And then I had to sort of find a way to hack this, but I did, uh, where I can ask a question uh, voice with voice and then get an audio response back. I'm going to do this in two different ways. I'm going to do it where we're not streaming. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to do this in a streaming way as well, where we're literally sending chunks or getting chunks of text back from the model and uh, using voice to, um, you know, pro provide the audio. So here's what I'm really trying to accomplish. So the text to audio version, we're going to load a PDF and get a text prompt from the user and, and send the text prompt to the model. And then in the non-streaming version, we will wait for the entire response to come back and then play that entire response. And then in the streaming version, we'll take the response uh, that we are get, we'll, t we'll take the response in chunks and pass those chunks to the text to speech model and, uh, and not wait for the whole thing to get done. So an audio to audio, only thing that's different is like same thing, load the PDF, get audio um, prompt from the user, convert the audio uh, to text and send that text to the uh, to the Gemini model and get the response back. Doing in for no streaming, what we will do is just get wait for the entire response and then uh, an entire response and then send it to the text to speech model. In the streaming version, we will just take uh, chunks that, as they come along and uh, send them to the TTS model. So before I continue with the rest of the video and show you the art of the possible here and then walk you through the code that created this streamlit app if you find the rest of the video helpful useful and or interesting please please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video here we go let's uh we're going to start with the non-streaming version right so let's uh, first start with text to audio i'm going to load a file it's a research paper of mine and we're going to start with the text to audio. So I'm going to start with uh, what is the title of the paper? And so in this case, we're waiting for the entire response before we play that. Word embeddings for banking industry. That's correct. That was the title of my paper. Let's ask a couple of more questions here. Um, what are word embeddings? Maybe. Again, it takes the prompt, sends it to Gemini. Uh, in this case, so a 2.0 flash experiment model. Word embeddings are fixed length vector representations of words. All right, and then brings the, brings the response back and plays that. I'm going to show you, just hang around <laughs> at the end. I'll unpack the code and, and show you what I did to do all this, okay? Uh, so let's... Uh, check out audio to audio. So text to audio is fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, you know, taking the text uh, uh, prompt, sending it to the model and, you know, getting the entire response back in this non-streaming version, get the entire uh, response and then uh, send it to, t to the TTS model and play it. And uh, audio to audio is a little bit of a, you know, I did a little, a little engineering, but, um, but figured it out and I'll show you how I did it. Uh, Non-streaming version, okay? So here, I'm going to ask a question, okay? What was the top performing model? Okay, takes my voice, uh, audio, converts it into text, sends it to the model, and because it's non-streaming, it's going to wait for the entire response before it plays that. So, you know. LSA plus autoencoder was the top performing model. All right. That is the correct answer. So that's that, all right? Um, let's, uh, all right, I'll ask one more question. Uh, maybe with the, that gives us a little bit longer response. What is Spearman correlation coefficient? All right, 
converts, it to, converts the audio into text, sends it to the model, waits for the entire response, and plays that back out. The Spearman correlation coefficient is a measure of the strength and direction of a monotonic relationship between two ranked variables. It assesses how well the relationship between two variables can be described using a monotonic function. All right. So I'll show you, I'll unpack the code, like how all this is getting done. And um, there are different voices that one can use here. You know, uh, I'm using uh, U.S. English, but there's, you know, um, British English, all kind of stuff, uh, different kinds of voices you can use, male, female, etc. Uh, I sort of just went with the ones that I'm familiar with and, and they sort of uh, project well for me. So that's what I used. And uh, so this is the non-streaming version. I showed you both text to audio, audio to audio. To audio. Now I'm going to show you uh, this Streamlit app that I built um, uh, you know, for, for streaming. And I'll unpack the code that lets us stream basically in, in this diagram here in text to audio. When we get when we get to this part where we're st sending the text prompt to the model, as the model is generating the response, we're going to take the ch uh, chunks as they come along and send that to uh, the text to speech model and play that uh, as the chunks are getting sent there. So it's sort of streaming, you know, as real time as it can get. So let's try that. Okay. Um, yeah. It's, it's already set up. I already have imported the file. And uh, so I'll ask one of the same questions that I did on the, uh, in the, the non-streaming version, which is what are word embeddings? Okay. And uh, I'll let you see the difference here. Embeddings are fixed length vector representations for words. Okay, so it came in like it didn't, you know, there was no latency, it didn't wait three or four seconds before the response was played, but it's a little choppy. Uh, let's ask another question. Uh, uh, what was the primary experiment the author conducted? In this case, it's sending the text. The primary experiment was to understand how different sets of embeddings would score a human enough a data set using cosine distance and Spearman correlation coefficient to evaluate. Yeah, I mean, it just in general, streaming and, you know, uh, using uh, web sockets and like it's, it's it's a little bit of a bear trying to like you know get this to just be right and um, in the in the code I'll show you the code that does this um, you know there's not that much room for experimentation to like you know but you know, you know there's probably a couple of variables you can play with uh, anyway I, the the nice thing about streaming is that you know if the answer was very long right like I'm just this is one paper uh, PDF file and uh, I'm, I have a system instruction that I've provided that I'll show you in the code that says, you know, be brief and concise and all that. Uh, but if you had like, you know, like a 500 word response um, for, you know, it, it might be better to stream that, right? So anyway, but streaming also then, you know, depending on the chunks that come in, like it can be choppy, right? So size of the chunks, etc. Anyway, so that's what I have here. I have two different Streamlit apps that I created. And as always i have the codes uh, in a github repo and the link to this github repo is in the description below so uh, feel free to take the code play around with it fork it whatever you want to do it's uh let's start with the the no stream so basic setup basic setup you know now you're going to need your uh, Google API key. I'm using the Gemini 2.0 Flash experiment uh, experimental model for two reasons. Because you know it, it is their most the, their latest and greatest model. It's, it has a multimodal API, a live API. I have done enough work with it, and there's a reason they call it experimental. I am almost done with how to like hack my way through uh, having a, a, a truly live like you know back and forth. Uh, 
uh, you know, text to audio conversation, uh, audio to audio. There's a wait list. Uh, I'm, I'm on it. Like, there's, you know, they have they only made all of the functionalities available to you know, a handful of handful of people. I'm on a wait list, so I only have the generally available stuff, which is text to text, text to audio, uh, and then um, audio to audio is still not there. And, you know, I, I'm hoping that I get that access. But in any case, I will do a video on the on, on the on what's available here using their multimodal uh, live API. But in any case, this is the setup. You might need to install this to libraries. Um, and then here's the breakdown. Here's how it all uh, works out. So for text to audio, um, no streaming, right? Get the file uploaded, uh, get the prompt, and then just using the uh, uh, Streamlit chat message, uh, uh, you know, functionality, uh, setting up you know, the, uh, the response here. Now put in some, uh, you know, some configuration variables, you know, temperature, etc. I limited it to 100 tokens. I don't want to, you know, I'm trying to uh, showcase the art of the possible here. And here's the system instruction. I'm asking it, asking the model to be brief and concise, etc. So and in any case, here we take the PDF file that we loaded and send that uh, to the model with, along with the prompt. And then I'm uh, cr uh, creating this input uh, text that I'm going to feed to the TTS, uh, text-to-speech model. And so I'm taking the entire response. So this is non-streaming, so we're taking the entire response that we get back. And, and that's being sent here uh, to Google's text-to-speech model. And then when the entire... Um, response in audio comes back right through TTS I'm saving that as a wave file uh, and calling it a standard file you know standard name and this is you know where I'm saving it but and then I play it uh, and I'm using um, play sound okay and you can use your choice of uh, audio libraries that you're familiar familiar with and that's the one that I am using here to play you know, save the file and then play it you notice that the latency is not that bad. Like, I mean, it was, you know, okay, so two seconds, three seconds at times. All right, so audio to audio. This is where I kind of had to hack my way through it. So I said, all right, you know, hey, how am I going to, like, uh, take the audio, right? And so, uh, or take the question from the user as audio. Um, let me go to the... <laughs> and so in order to do that, um, I'm using this audio recorder library uh, you might need to uh, download uh, you know uh, import this if we don't have it or install this and uh, and it's really pip install streamlet audio recorder streamlet just google it but that's what i'm using that was the thing that uh created this guy here okay um so i cr i get the audio bytes you know my question in in my in audio um and then convert that using google's speech to text uh, model into text and uh, and that so this is the text coming from the speech and I set that to prompt so my prompt is that text um, and then same concept you know just send it to the model along with the PDF file you know, a little instruction here uh, then I already told you what it does it takes the entire response when it comes back sends it to the text to speech model save that as an um, a wave file and then play the wave file and then if you like that little speaker thing that was like you know, <laughs> playing in the background I'll, I'll 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 be sure to like in my github repo I'll give you this uh, gif file here and you can use this little hack to like you know make it look like it's <laughs> uh, timed along with uh, when is uh, when the model is uh, responding back okay um, so you have the code and I'll give you the give you everything you're going to need and then let me show you um, the other one, which is uh, streaming, right? It's pretty much the same thing except for um, here's the function that you need to do. This is the one, this is the function that streams, okay? Er everything else here is the same. Uh, upload the file and uh, text to audio and the, that I showed you the examples uh, with. And what we're doing here, same thing here, you know, but here we're actually, you know, for chunk. So we're generating, as the response is generated, I'm taking the chunks that come uh, back from the model, not wait for the whole thing, but otherwise the same thing, you know, a little uh, instruction, 
prompt, etc. You know, a temperature, limiting it to 100 tokens, etc. And then calling this run stream, uh, streaming uh, uh, TTS uh, function and passing along chunk dot text. Like so, as the chunks come in, and then we just, you know, in here, as that comes in, uh, it's um, it, first you got to configure this. That's the first thing, and then we're passing this. This is the chunk dot text that's coming in here. We're telling the the model here that uh, that, that played that chunk, and uh, basically convert that to audio. And then I'm using <clears throat> sound audio to sound audio to uh, play this as it comes through as it's buffering. Okay, um, and I would just leave it at 24,000. You can play around with it, but um, you know, those are the defaults, and they, they will work for you as well. So I am using, in this case, uh, um, you know, all, these are all the libraries you want to need. So basically, um, you, you just if you don't have something, you know, download Simple Audio. If you don't have it, um, pip install that, and then you're going to have to pip install a couple of things here as well if you don't have it already. Okay, so, so there you go. I showed you how to take um, a PDF file and chat with it, talk with it, with your with this voice bot, right? You can I give uh, shown you both ways. You can do text to audio, where you can send uh, uh, you know a text prompt and receive the answer in, uh, as audio, or send the uh, send the prompt as audio and receive the answer back in audio. All right, so you, you will have the code, and uh, hopefully, you know, you, you have use cases or you just want to mess around with it, take the code, play around with it, and I'm, I'm hoping you find better use cases than, you know, just messing with it one single PDF file. I've done other videos where you can have a much longer context and all that, use any of the other codes to, like, you know, mix and match and do, you know, uh, to help you with your use case. All right, hope you found this helpful, useful, and or interest, interesting and if you did if you did uh, only then <laughs> please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video thank you until next time